fuck me, I've been so low this week. It's Friday and I've been so low this week. Dangerously low. Uh, but it's like I was saying to my mate Julian uh, earlier on today. I was saying to our Julian, I says to him, I says, Julian, I says, you know, I says, sometimes it does you good uh, once in a while to feel so low because it reminds you where you were going wrong and it also allows you to remember what it is that you really need to be doing. <coughs> it's not the same thing really, isn't it? But never mind. And I'm now, I'm now fighting. I'm now fighting. I'm now up and at them and fighting. It's funny, I stopped in uh, the Cosmopolitan Hotel last night and I went jogging, I think about half past three in the morning and I needed a jog. And it was bloody cold, but I went out for a bloody jog. That's the spirit. That really is the spirit. And I've just been out for another jog now, and it was pissing it down, pissing it down and hailstoning. But I went out for a jog. I'm fighting now. I'm fighting. And it's funny, isn't it? How when you when you're down, when you're down, things don't go well for you, and you don't get good luck. You really don't get good luck. And then when you start fighting, and you start feeling better, that little bit better about yourself, then things go, things go better for you, and you get that good fortune, you get that good luck. A bit like today, I'll just, I'll briefly explain. Up until recently, I've been buying my cigs and my cigars from a, a paper shop stroke tobacconist on the hedgerow in Leeds. Now, a hundred yards further up on the same side as of the hedgerow is another tobacconist called Greens. Many moons ago I used to go to Greens Tobacconist and get all my cigs and cigars from there. Until Ryan's, this uh, paper shop stroke tobacconist, started to sell my cigs cheaper. So I've been going there for, for years now, I've been going to Ryan's for years. But today I thought, just for a change, I'll go into Greens. Just for a change of scenery, I'll go into Greens. Greens also have an amazing selection of cigars. And he was telling me today how Southerners and people from London come up and they'll pop into the shop for a cigar and they're amazed at how cheap he is compared to London prices. So anyway, I'm in there today, expecting to pay a little bit more for my cigarettes, but wanting a, a change of scene, I thought I'd go in. And I was so surprised to see that my cigarettes were 30 pence cheaper a packet. So I bought 200. Three quid, three quid difference, three quid cheaper. And also while I was in there, a nice little surprise. My favourite cigars, the uh, Cohiba Torpedoes. These, at first, he were explaining, I don't know if he's called Mr Green, nice lad. Um, he were explaining that these originally were a limited edition. These are the torpedo shaped. They're the same size as a Siglo 6 and made with the same leaves. But the different shape, they're not Robusto. Robusto is a rounded end. And these are the pointed torpedo shaped end. So whereas with a Robusto, that tip I've given you before about when you're cutting them, to put your cutter on uh, on a table top and then put your cigar in like that and, and cut it with the cutter flat against the table top. Whereas you do that once with a Robusto, you need to do this twice. So you cut it once, open it up again, cut it again because of the shape, because of the tip. Yeah. So I got this today reduced from £40 to £35.80 and then they let me off another 80 pence. So I got this to smoke later on. I'm looking forward to it. That's about it really. I'm going to make a move. I need to get out and about again. I'm thinking about going to Sheffield. It's funny. Uh, like I've had a change of scene with the tobacconist today, I've been uh, to Green's instead of Ryan's. I've been going to that bloody hotel in Leeds too much and they're starting to get too familiar with me. 
and I'm thinking although there's there's no there well there are there are two other hotels in Leeds where you can get a room where you're permitted to smoke so I shall try there in future or just get a, a hotel where you can't smoke and just stay in there just for a change of scene because when I start going to the same old places it uh, it helps me to feel low <laughs> which is why I'm thinking about going to Sheffield for a change today so missing my bloody car it's untrue it's eight weeks today it's eight weeks today since it broke down funnily enough near Meadowall outside Sheffield eight weeks today since my car broke down and I'm so missing that bloody thing. Where's my lighter? I'll say that once more just for your benefit. I'm so missing not having a car. It is untrue. That's all folks, catch you soon, yeah?